Previously, we saw that we can use get and we can return back a bunch of information. There's also get JSON. So if we want to be really specific and make sure we're returning back JSON information, we can do it within this type of format. And really, it's the same thing because we know earlier that we learned that jQuery is actually smart enough to pick up what type of data is being returned. But of course, if you are expecting JSON, try to use get JSON because it's just more specific. And the more specific you can get, the more problems you can avoid. Uh, so next thing that we want to do is we know that when we return back the data, so it's not just one item there. There's a ton of information that's being sent there. So there's 57 different flight numbers there. So if we want to log all of this information out, jQuery has a really cool method for that as well. So that's the each method. So basically it iterates through a bunch of objects and arrays and then you can make use of that data. So let's uh, just do data. So we need to have whatever we want to pass in and then function and we've got keys and values for each one. So in an array, a key is going to be the same as the index number and then of course the value is whatever the value is. So in this type of format, let's uh, console log these out. So first let's console log out the key and then we'll console log out the value so we can take a closer look and actually see what's being returned here. So when we click it, boom, there we go. We're actually getting that array index value as the key. So we know that we can really easily write out something like data and we can use K, so that's the key index, and then return back the value. So we could do it this way or we could do it value. So that way we're returning back the same thing. So that's why we're duplicating. So either way you do it is fine. And now that we can actually grab that data, we can make use of it. So let's set up a variable. So just set up HTML, keep it blank. And then as we loop through here, of course, V is going to be a lot easier to use. So let's, uh, let's update HTML. So we'll add it together with whatever the value of, now we've got a number of parameters in here. So keeping that in mind, so we can do V and if we want to get something like flight number, so let's uh, type that out, flight number. And all the data is always going to be different. So always, uh, you might have to do a little bit of outputting here and uh, updating of how you want that content to be displayed. So instead of flight number, let's just put details. And of course, as you practice this, you can uh, output whatever information that you want it to, to output. So details, and then that's it. And then this over here, this is just gonna be HTML. So let's take in whatever that variable is. So let's see what happens. So there we go. So we got a ton of information being output really easily within our web page and I need to specify a value there because otherwise it's coming in as undefined. Uh, so that's why it was doing that. And maybe let's uh, do these as H2s or H3s. Instead of that, H3, make it look a little bit better. And close off that H3. So let's try that now. So there we go. So it's a lot more readable this time. So, there, so this gives you a better idea of how you can pull through JSON data, you can loop through it, and you can make use of it within your web page. So do try this out for yourself. And there's a number of really cool APIs out there uh, that you can try out and you can make use of the data and output them within your web page. So go ahead and try this out for yourself. And next, we're going to be looking at post with jQuery. So that's coming up.